Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Last episode, we uh, finished looking through the Arcane Tower and went back to the Myconid Colony in order to see if we could get any help from the uh, Illithid that was there. Well, it didn't help quite how we'd hoped. Now, well, the only other thing we have left to do in the Underdark here is to deal with the Duergar. So let's take it out and uh, go to where we need to go. Wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Sail into the darkness. We shall see what we find. Oh dear. Hello. Yeah. What are you doing on Gex Raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? Hmm. We could push him into the water. Um... I seek the sergeant. I believe she's keen to get these boots back. Well, I'll be. You got them? The sergeant's been whining non-stop. What about Gek? Where's he at? Hmm. He's dead. My cone had saw to that. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. Well, that worked. And I didn't lie. The Myconids did see that he did see to it that he was dead by using me, but still, you get the idea. <laughs> Another one of these. Do we now? You shithead! Time you showed up! We got trouble! Spit it out! Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick! Rugno! The twat soul caused a rock fall! Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger! You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Hi. Who's the whom, Greyman? Another slave for the dig. Hmm. I'm here to see the sergeant. I have her boots. Aye. He speaks true. Found the hoon sailing Gex skiff. That's so. I... You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwegar mm -hmm. is not infected, yet your minds resonate. That's interesting. Oh, I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Your twat old chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Fine, take it. I'll be shagged to Shanatar. 
shit's looking up. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. So we must hmm. save the drow first, then sever his head after. Oh, pleasantries like that make me quite homesick. All right. Well, we've made it here. Here we should be able to look around and hopefully find something. No, I didn't want to sneak around. Charlatan, a friend to all. Gain entrance to Grimforge peacefully by lying to the raft patrol. All right, grubby map. Let's see here. On one side of this page, a hand-drawn map depicts a northern grotto bordering the Ebon Lake. An attacker's account marks the other. One of the drugging shrooms sensed us and split. Chunky one, too. Months worth of soup at least. The rest were too busy droning to put up a fuss. Nair pays us and I'm bolting for Mantol Dareth. Thrin's orders be damned. They got eel steak, mineral meat, and top land food of all sort. Clan can't live on fungus alone. And a battered note here, which I... Ah. Hey, prickheads! Slave, slave grub in the right barrel, Rothchow in the left. Next of you sh shits I see flubbing it is getting a hot poker up the arse sideways. Thrin. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Okay, I just wanted to investigate, but fine. Go on. I just wanted to jokingly switch around the barrels. Alright. So let's see what we've got. We've got Grimforge in the Underdark here. And there's the teleportation. Some sort, perhaps. Just a theory. Just a dumb theory. Alright. Got me. You wouldn't survive a ten day on your well, we can take a look around the docks here, I suppose. At least for a start. Mermoth. Dead drop. Don't like strangers here. But Absolute must have took you in. Who hung these drow out to dry? Me? Who else? My spiders sussed them out of hiding. Then near taught him a thing or two, and I let him fly. Where did the drill come from? Caught him sniffing around. Easy marks. Had the stench of the toplands. Hung them here as a warning. Ain't no one drugs with clan flame shade. Okay then. Whole bunch of dead drill. So, who are you three? Yeah, yeah, don't get your twat in a Hey, stick shit! It's skick pit, you piss pot. That's what I said, stick shit. My huh. mug's gone dry, stick shit. You heard her, stick shit. Fill her up. Another uh, stick shit. <laughs> piss pot. You flirt. Now jump to it. Oh, it's up to the lift, and straight to the shadows. Now that's how you motivate the star. <laughs> really, Astarian? So, yeah. Tell the sergeant we won't move a pebble. I heard a true soul was trapped. Shouldn't you be helping? Hold out your hands, Oon. You heard the man. Let's see him. You want to take a look at my hands? What for? Less asking, more showing. Fine, take a look. Five working fingers, nice and meaty, prime for digging. You want near, you claw him out. My drinking hand's busy. I don't like your attitude. And I don't like pig shit, but damned if your mouth ain't spewing it. You want respect, let your absolute pay for it. Till then, bugger off. Hmm. Hey! Stick shit! Where's my drink? 
coming right up. Piss pot. Stick shit. Talks like smug. And he wrecked that shroom village. And then shagged it. <laughs> Here's to smug. Nasty prick. Yeah, you're the prick, truthfully. Piss off. Hey now, what's with the hostility? I heard the piss pot. You're a true soul. Same as near. So like I said, piss off. Hmm. No, you don't understand. Thula has sent me to save you. <laughs> Thula was mad as a rutting badger, but she weren't a friend of any true soul. What about piss off, do you? Hold on. You aren't just talking shit, are you? Then shh. Keep it low. Don't let them hear you. That's the intention. Now why in the hottest hells would a true soul be helping me? That's the thing. I'm not really a true soul. Fine. Let's say I believe you. You want to kill these peckers? I'm not complaining. But you better finish the job. Because I'll be the one to suffer if you don't. <clears throat> Ain't you hearing me, prickhole? Piss off to every last hell. I was hoping you'd be able to give me something that would help, but okay. Shit. You got one of Nair's moon lanterns, Jog. A moon lantern? What's that? One of them pixie lamps. If you're headed to Moonrise, you won't last without it. Top lands are clogged with the Death Dark. Choke you in no time. Death Dark? What are you talking about? You daft. It's there in the name. Shadows up there black as the lower dark. A few sniffs could fell an ogre. Sounds like the Shadow Curse. We must be getting closer to Moonrise. Perhaps we should seek out this near while we can, though. Hmm. That moon lantern is key to our survival. That means freeing near. My thoughts exactly. His thoughts exactly, and yet he disapproves. That said, I suppose this... That's the way up to the towers. Noted. Now that we're gonna go in there. Oh! Something's in here. That's curious. Huh. Secret path. Interesting. Kind of hard to see in here, but... Heavy chest. A few things, and a few smoke powder satchels. Just a bit of loot hidden in here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, that's a lot of dead. Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> I hope you're checking them for loot first. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. Inspect the corpses. Eh, yeah, go with the guidance. Why not? There we go. You spot a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. Uh, sleight of hand, reach for the trinket. Just made that one.
Quit sniffing around. You're starting to get on my nerves. Nerves. Fetish of Kalarduran smooth hands. The smooth six-pointed star on this ring is beset with small underdark gemstones as befits a talisman of the god of mining and patron of deep gnomes. Let's one cast invisibility. Okay, we're gonna leave that one alone. As we continue to sneak around here. Let's see what we can find in this place. Interesting that we can open this chest. What's a fort like this doing in the underdark? Certainly. A god. Whoever built Perhaps. it, they let it rot for ages. Old gnomes make such a thing. You're the ex hmm. Stonemason Gergeron. If you aren't here to inspect the stonework, then get lost. And if you are, well, I doubt you've got anything useful to say. And what about you? How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. Probably not. Friendly welcome. A rarity in the Underdark. As rare as a smile in Shindlerin, you might say. But I've no skill for slaving. I prefer chisel to cane. But these learned eyes reach their limits. And so I must humbly request yours. Fine. What should I be looking at? The rock. The rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see. And be thorough. Okay. We can do a history, an investigation, or a perception. History seems to be the best option, because we have that proficiency. Assess the statue for technique and composition. Guidance, always on. That was a good roll. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Hmm. Anything standing out? Investigation, examine the fallen rubble. Uh, we can give we can give it an inspiration. We're full on it. That was a success that time. Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor. Many split cleanly in two. Yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. Well, that's a little concerning. What do you think? Uh, let me do one more check. Perception. Survey the area for unseen curiosities. That's a good roll. Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Well, that's a little concerning. I'm ready to report my observations. Incredible. An entire history risen from dirt and debris. Picture it. An ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls. Fresh sculptures, until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. Ah, oh, hmm. that explains the infernal plate I found. Perhaps you might have use of it. I think I would. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. 
I must get to it. I would like to trade. Well, see what you've got. Uh, it's more to see what you've got. The infernal alloy, we're definitely holding on to that. So what have you got? You've got a couple scrolls, some arrows, some potions. Honestly, you don't really have anything I want. Or need. So we're perfectly fine, I think. That's all then. That much is true at least. Indeed. Okay, so the inf uh we're going to put these two to the camp. I guess I could have sold one of these. Okay. Inhabitants were drowned. Look in this direction. Quiet. I'm thinking. Probably in Okay, a couple deep ropes. Skeletons. What are skeletons doing over here? Damaged Dark Justicia armor. That's interesting. And Dark Justicia mail. While obscured by shadow, the wearer deals 1 to 4 necrotic damage to attackers that hit them with a melee attack. Interesting. Dark Justicia's journal. Cycle 40. I know it is forbidden to enter the Inquisitor's chambers, but I could not help myself. Has Master Ketherick not commanded us to use every possible tool to best Shar's rivals? Besides, if Sybil meant to keep the amulet a secret, she would have hidden it better. Cycle 40 and 2. The amulet has gifted me a power, an energy heretofore unknown to me. I've never known such might and such cheer. I can barely keep myself from smiling, much to the other's chagrin. Cy... <laughs> <laughs> Cycle 40 and 5. It is done, thank the Dark Lady. Sybil ripped the amulet from my throat and cast it into the lava, having found me racked by laughter. The madness is lifted, but I do not yet know my penance. Sybil is not known to take pity on thieves. You Pardon? Look at the skeletons. You realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Whatever killed them made the, an enemy of a powerful goddess. Still, if whatever managed to murder a group of Sharans is still around, we had better watch our step. Probably so. Let me give you this armor so I'm no longer encumbered, please. Is it better than what you're currently wearing? Uh... Honestly, the Slippery Chain shirt is better. While Jar Dark Justicia male is uh, thematically more appropriate, the Slippery Chain shirt is actually better from an ability standpoint, because you are a healer! Okay, and up here seems to be the end of this area. Leaves, like on. Yeah. Hmm? Grab a cane and whip these drugnin beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing, and my patience is hanging on by an ass whisker. Almost sounds like you're asking for help if I ignore your tone. And it sounds like your ass wants for a lashing. The way you talk out of it. Something spooks the dumb shits. So stop your join and get to work in. What's behind the rubble? You got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to caning or to leaving. You want my help? Then you will tell me what's back there. Another guidance. Got it. Uh, fine. Look at this. Adamantine. Stuff's no joke. Stronger than steel, rarer than mithril. But ain't mined. 
is made. There's an adamantine forge back there, sure as shitting. Don't get any smart ideas. That forge is clan property. But get the beasts moving and I'll toss some coin your way. Hmm. I think that's something I could do, I suppose. Let's see what I can do. Go on then. Light a fire under the buggers. Moving or I'll swap my cane for an axe. Yeah, this seems to be clear the rubble. It'll get us into whatever's up here. Which will lead even higher up. Oh. Okay, well that's something to investigate. And I think we'll do it in the next episode, because this one's gone on about long enough. Next episode, I'll see what I can do over here for these guys. Till then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Ceres, Shadowheart, Astarian, and Gale. This has been a Let's Play of Boulder's Gate 3, and I shall see you all next time.